previously on Hardland. And we kind of owe ourselves one of our famous fishing expeditions. <laughs> 55 seconds, and that's your fastest time of the day, folks. Georgie, what is it? Georgie! Hey, thanks again for taking him this weekend. It looks like he made some progress. I know he's hiding something. I just need a bit more time to get to the bottom of it. Okay, it's a song. It's my ex's birthday coming up. And stuck on the hook. I wonder if you could just take a look at it and make it good. Sure, I'll have a look at it. Thank you, buddy. It's good to see you. I wish people would stop asking me that. It's great that you want to help, but I, I really don't need any. OK. You're going to have fun doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I used a bit of feather from a pheasant to make this fly look like a tiny wing. Because that's what fish like. They think this is something real tasty to eat. <laughs> when I go fishing next week with my old friend Will Vernon, this new fly is going to be the reason that I catch more fish than he does. <laughs> hey. Hey. It's your favorite grandpa. What are you doing, having a tea party? Good. Hey. Lou tells me that you're going up to the fishing cabin. You want some company? I've already got company. What's with that RV of yours suddenly appearing at the end of the driveway, my driveway? Well, Stumpy leased out that land to another rancher, so I had to move it out. Yeah, well, you better not think that you can leave it there. You should be happy that I bought that RV, because we can travel anywhere, like the fishing cabin. Plus, air conditioning, fridge, microwave, surround sound, sleep six. I mean, it's way better than that crap cabin you stay in. Think about it. There is nothing to think about, believe me. Don't touch that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I got it. I got it, Jack. I got it. You make me crazy. My fault. OK, they all came out. Oh. Gigi needs a nap, huh? Probably don't recognize. Oh, on the contrary, Doreen Vernon will better have. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Jack, I am. Um... Well, here, I have something. Is Will's guitar. He's gone, Jack. Our dear Will passed away. It looks so easy. And you will, too. How? You already have a great bond with Phoenix. Oh, we'll just build on that. OK. Hey, 
go? I just, I feel really awkward. See, he's bored with me already. Come on, Georgie. These things take time. You have to give it a chance. Just, just don't really feel like it right now. Well, I think you need to relax. You know, you've already proven yourself. You have a ticket to go to Europe if that's what you want to do. It's the last thing I want to think about. OK, fine. But you do need to take a step back, a big one, to a place where there's no competition. Right. Hey, Grandpa, can I call you back? Yeah, we'll be right there. We have to go home. Come on. <sighs> Will always wanted you to have his guitar, if anything happened. I'm honored to have it. You know, I was always afraid that Will would end up a total recluse. But that man, he really changed these past couple of years. He even swallowed his pride and came courting me after all our time apart. And from what Will said, I guess I have you to thank for that, Jack. Well, Will never did anything he didn't want to do. So. You have any funeral plans? No, Will didn't want any of that kind of thing. It was always his wish that his ashes be scattered on the land where his wild horses are. You all know how much you love them. And that's where he was when he went down. By the fence, watching his horses. <laughs> he never forgot what you did for that herd. Saving them from the cull like that. Sure grateful that you came all this way to give me this news in person, Doreen. Well, I couldn't have told you any other way, Jack. And after all, you and your wife, Lindy, were the ones who introduced me to Will in the first place. I thought he was the craziest man I'd ever met. <laughs> Turns out I was right. He was. But he was also a hopeless romantic. That song you helped him with? He serenaded me with it on my last birthday. I really loved it. So I just... I want to thank you, Jack. For giving me my will, not once, but twice in my life. Clint and Luke are on their way. You want me to cancel? No, I promised. Want some? I'm OK, thanks. No. Right, Want it. Hey. <laughs> Mitch's wedding invite. I got one of these, too. I think we'll be taking a pass on that. Is anybody going to go? Yeah, Ty and I are going, and I think Grandpa is, too. Uh, weddings and funerals. It's pretty much life in a nutshell, isn't it? OK. I had a date to go fishing with Will Vernon. And by way of honoring my old friend, I'm sticking to the plan. I'll be at the cabin. I really don't think it's a good idea for Grandpa to go up there alone right now. Maybe it'll be good for him. Hey, Amy, it'll give him some time to process everything. I'll go with the old man. He shouldn't be alone. I'm not asking for anyone's permission here. I'm going. Alone. Hope you all understand. Grandpa, just don't spend too long up there, OK? And drive safe. See you, Jack. Well, I got to get some paperwork done before Luke and Clint show up. Yeah, I'll come up. Yeah. OK, thank you. You got her? All right. Thank you, Luke. Yeah, okay. thank you. Sorry Have about the mess. Bye, guys. So 
Sometimes when you sleep, I watch you dream, and I dream too. Someday your eyes will be filled with a joy so deep that they shine. Someday you will hear something so sad that you will fold up with sorrow. Someday you will call a song to the wind, and the wind will carry your song away. <sighs> You okay, Amy? If it hadn't have been for Will and our time at Pike River, we never would have gotten back together. We never would have been married, had Lindy. I know. Daddy. I thought of that, too. I just can't believe that he's gone. Well, you couldn't ask for a better guy to help you with your project, Luke. Ty here is a mechanical wizard. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but why don't you tell me about what your project's about? It's for my STEM class. Uh, STEM class? Okay. Science, technology. Engineering and math. Okay, well, what did you want to do for your project? I saw this picture of a battery-operated truck. It was cool. I brought some parts that might work. I'd be happy to help you out, Luke, if, if that's what you want to do. Where's Boots? Oh, uh, he's in the bar. OK. Well, thanks, Clint. Hey, boy. How are you doing? I missed you. Hey, Luke. We should get started. Show me what you got in your bag there. I found these from one of my old trucks. And uh, I found this in my train set. Huh. It was broken anyway. But the motor's still good. Yeah, well, this is a good start. But you got to find some gears and then figure out a way to get the power to the wheels. Like a transmission. Yeah, like a transmission. <laughs> Maybe you do know what you're talking about. Maybe you do, too. All right, well, let's go look in the Quonset High. Good tea, sweetheart. OK, so we got the body of the truck done today. And you like it, right, Luke? Yep. Good. So tomorrow, we can get the gears all lined up and hopefully get the batteries connected to the switch. What color did you want to paint it, Luke? Luke? Amy? Are you OK? All right. Ty, I can't. <laughs> so have you still got that fishing cabin? Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, that's what you do then. You take yourself up there. As a matter of fact, we both should go up there. How many songs did we write in that cabin? Oh, my gosh. Some of them were god-awful, too, weren't they? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I agree with you, Will. A fishing trip is due. Let's set a date. That's right. I got a social calendar. I'm going to fit you in. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to you, Will. Cheers.
Hey, do you see that? He's following me. Good boy. I see what you mean about this being calming. It is kind of zen. Yeah, really quiets your mind. Yeah, it does. Speaking of, is there something on yours? I'm worried about my mom. How so? It's just, I think she's pretty upset with Mitch and the wedding and everything. Have you talked to her about it? I tried, but she didn't want to go there. I don't think she's over him. Not at all. OK, but Come on. Good boy, Phoenix. Come around. Good? All right. There you go. What do you think? It's fine. Just fine? I think it's a lot better than fine. Let's get the wheels here. Get it set up. Is Amy OK? Yeah. I saw her last night. She was sad. Yeah, she was. Our family lost a good friend. She was a little upset about it. She couldn't hold it in any longer. But you know, sometimes that's the only way to start feeling better, Luke. We can't always hide our emotions. If we did, people wouldn't know when we needed comfort. Or maybe some help. My mom cries sometimes. Yeah? Do you know what it's about? Well, she gets sad. And I'm like you are, with Amy. I try to make her feel better. That's good. It's the right thing to do. Well, I mean, she doesn't cry all the time. She sometimes, she wants to have fun. Like we get up in the middle of the night and make pancakes and eat as many as we want. <laughs> but then after, she kind of gets sad again. How often does she get sad? I think I want to paint it blue. Blue it is. Okay. Okay. Good. No one wants to bite today, huh? Okay. Hey. Hi. How are you? Yeah, hey, good. You're Hi. back, huh? Yes. Finally. Well, where is he? I wanted to surprise him. <sighs> Not here. Where is he? Um. What? Will Vernon passed away. He did? Oh, no. Well, when? Why didn't he tell me that? He probably tried to get a hold of you, but he... He couldn't because you haven't exactly been easy to track down, so he probably gave up. Well, where is he? Fishing cabin. By himself? He went by himself after hearing about Will? I offered to go with him, but he didn't want me to. So I think he just needs some alone time. No, I don't, I don't think he should be alone. He's been alone for quite a while now, Lisa. <sighs> All right. Hmm. Yes, sir! Look. 
Look at that, Will. That's a beauty. <laughs> Well, hello there. How did you get into this mess? Oh, easy now, easy now. Hold your horses, I got gotcha. you. There you go. Be free! <laughs> water to freeze your butt off instead of coming over here and joining your old friend? Jack, get up! Well, you, you're here, you came! Oh, oh, man, you gave me the scare of my life. I thought... I don't know how to tell you this, but someone's made a serious mistake. They think you, <laughs> you are gonna get a good laugh out of this one. Okay. You got time for a chat. You feel we should be going. I mean, he's he's grieving. He shouldn't be alone. He's used to it by now. OK, so you've been needling me since I walked through the door. If you have something to say, why don't you just come out and say it? Well, you've been away for months, Lisa. Jack hasn't been the same since you left. I can't count the number of times he's tried to call you. So I guess at the end of the day, you just have to ask yourself what's more important, your aunt or your husband? What? Tim, that's not fair. My aunt has been extremely ill, needed me. Jack needed you, too. So this project's pretty important to you, huh? Yeah, it is. It has to be perfect. Well, we're going to do our best. Are you worried about your grades, Luke? No. It's my teachers. They say I don't pay attention. And they're always calling my mom or Clint about it. If I do get on this, it'll show them all that I could do something right. And it'll make my mom proud. Well, I think we can make that happen. Want to do a test drive? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Set her down. OK, All let's right. press the button. Great. It doesn't work. This idea is stupid. You know, we should have done something else. Look, look, whoa, whoa, hey, hold on a sec. Hey, just relax, OK? Remember what we talked about? Take a breath. We just need to adjust some gears, OK? Happens all the time on my motorcycle. Why don't you put it back up on the desk? We'll take a look at it. Hey. Hey. Lisa's back? Yeah. Um, but as soon as she got here, she heard about Will and her and dad headed up to the cabin. Well, I think that's good. Grandpa shouldn't be alone right now. Yeah. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's just Mitch and Maya's wedding site. Listen to this. In lieu of gifts, please make a thoughtful donation to our favorite charity, Changing the World with Crystals. <laughs> so, Maya. Lou, you've got to talk to me. Every time I ask how you're doing with this whole wedding thing, you just shut me down. 
Well, you know, things have been just a little bit busy, Amy. Yes, but Georgie doesn't think that you're over Mitch yet. Is that true? Hello? Can I come in? Maya. Hi. Hi. Do you remember being out there on the road month after month, rodeo after rodeo? The big payouts, the big parties, the big injuries. I remember that you were competing at one stage with, they had four broke ribs and a, oh, a collarbone. I had a busted collarbone too. We were insane. Yes, I, I guess we were. I don't know how we made out of all that alive, to tell you the honest truth. But I just wanted you to know, it weren't just the wildest times. They were also some of the happiest times of my life. Yeah. Yeah, those, those, those days were something, all right. The Pike River, remember that Christmas? When we saved them horses that were trapped there at the avalanche, remember that? I do, yeah. That was quite the trick to get them out alive. Yeah. Well, they weren't the only lives we saved that week. It was that Christmas, Jack. You saved my life. Nah, oh, come on. No, you did. I would have died right, right then and there, in that house, just sitting in there. I would have died for sure. But you, you brought back my family. You brought back my life. And now, well, Jack, now you've brought back my ex-wife. Well, today, it's my turn to return the favor. You know, I was so totally set on an outdoor ceremony. You're one with nature. Yeah. No, but, you know, Mitch's family wanted a church wedding. I got my way on the reception, though. It's gonna be in the middle of a field with these big white tents. Pinnacles of twinkly white lights. Exactly. How did you, how did you know? It's what I wanted for my wedding, but it didn't, it didn't quite work out that way. It'll happen for you, Lou. I know you'll meet someone who makes you just as happy as Mitch has made me. I sure hope so. So, back to business. The reception. I noticed you still have an RSVP. Are you bringing a plus one? Um, Your date. I need the names for the place cards. Right, of course, the place cards. These are important things, <sighs> place cards. You know, Mitch hinted that you might have a special someone to invite. He did, did he? Who? The, um, you know, the grocery guy that Mitch's company has the big deal with. Uh, Fred, that's his name, Fred Garland. Yeah, yeah, you can tell Mitch that's exactly who I'm bringing. That's my plus one. Amazing. I'm so glad you have someone. <sighs> you should have seen Doreen's face when I showed up at her door after what? 10 years, maybe more? <laughs> And she takes one look at me and she says, I cannot believe you're still driving around in that piece of crap. That stupid truck. Yeah, I like Dory. Oh yeah, salt of the earth, her. Huh? Come on, Jack, time to go, come here. I'd say it's uh, enough of the reminiscing now at this point. It's time to get up, old friend. It's time to wake up! Got his fishing rod, so 
Well, I'm just gonna look down around the bend then. Chad! Okay. Okay, I'll go upriver. Hey, Amy, come down here. We got something to show you. No, don't tell her. What if it doesn't work again? Hey, it's okay. You're among friends. Besides, I think it's gonna work. All right, Amy, you ready for this? All right, Luke, hit the switch. <laughs> Look at that! Hey! Wow. Look at that, Boots. It works. That is so cool. <laughs> Jack? Dad, I just, I want to know if you guys are doing OK. Call me back when you get this. Wow. You and Maya really have a way of sneaking up on me. I'm sorry I knocked, but you were just on the... So. So. Maya tells me you're bringing Fred as a guest to the wedding. You know, I think that's great. <laughs> Mitch, I'm not bringing Fred to the wedding. <laughs> I'm not bringing anyone, because um, I don't think I can be there. What? Why? What? You're not going to come to my wedding? It's just not a good time. Georgie's been sick, and I don't know if you know this, but my grandfather's oldest friend, Will Vernon, just passed away, so. <sighs> I, I didn't. I'm sorry. <sighs> and anyway, Mitch, why? Why would you even want me there? Why? What do you mean, why? Just a simple question. Why? Because I want you. At the wedding. I... Well, I'll think about it. Well, I hope to see you there. Gotta get it together, Juan. I've seen you wounded way worse than this and still make it home alive. So come on, let's go. I need to thank you, Will. Yeah, I do. For everything you've done for me. Oh. You can't be gone, Will. It's too soon. I've got no regrets now. These past few years have just been golden thanks to you. The only thing I worry about is them horses. So if you want to thank me, you could look in on them. I'll do that. Good. Thanks. You're my best friend, Will. And I never told you that. I was going to tell you. I was. I was going to tell you on this trip, and then. Well, you have, and now you have again, so we're square. Someone's looking out for you. I don't want to leave you, Will. Not yet. You have to. That's just it. Answer to that. Let them know you're here. Yeah. No, no, no. Louder. I'm here. Jack! Yeah. 
I'm here. Jack. Hey. I'm here. Hey. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Come yeah. on. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Come on, Jack. All right. That's it. There you are. What happened? Oh, my goodness. What happened? What happened? Oh, sweetie. Are you okay? What, what happened, honey? It's okay. Oh, sweetie. Are you okay? Let me see you. Oh. Hi. Hi. It's okay. Okay. Let's, let's get him to the cabin. Come on, let's go inside. Come on. Come on, let's get you inside. Let's go. Okay, come on. Can you tell me what happened? <laughs> Well, that fridge keeps everything at a perfect, perfect temperature. <laughs> what a beautiful gift. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. At least we're okay, aren't we, you and me? Honey, I'm sorry I was away for so long. I was so torn. I mean, if you could have seen Aunt Evelyn, she just... You don't need to explain. You did what you had to do. It's funny, isn't it? How we can think of family as being so strong when it's actually so delicate. I don't know what I would do without you. I really don't. So happy to be home with you, cowboy. I want to play something for you. <laughs> this is a song Will wrote for his wife, Doreen. But I kind of think it was meant for us too. When I look at my life as it passes me by. Think of all the times you stood by my side When you said goodbye, I lost the love of my life Now I'm longing for the days when you were my wife You're the one that got away, couldn't think of what to say Now we have a second chance, and I'm not throwing it away Here we are together, who knew we'd see the way The start of new beginnings, the start of our new day I can say I love you and mean it even more A second chance, a second dance, more precious than before If your love is broken and leave you on your own Time might heal the pain, but your heart will lead you home Your heart will lead you home Hi! Hi! Oh, I got the highest mark! I won first place! Fantastic! Good for you, Luke! I want you to have it. Um, well, don't you think your mom bought that, or...? No. You're the one who helped me. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. I'll, uh, I'll put this on the fridge, okay? How about right there? Looks pretty good. What do you think? Hi, Lindy. Hi. Hi. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Bolted up the stairs before I even got out of the car. It's all right. Do you want anything? No. Thanks, but um, can we talk? Yeah, yeah, sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, let's put this here. 
It's Luke's mother. She doesn't feel that she can take care of him anymore. Not properly. So, uh, I'm afraid I'm looking into foster care. You made some tea. Yeah. You're lucky. You wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for me. It wasn't just you. What? That's twice I've saved your life. I guess that is true. I just gotta figure out how to save my own. What's that supposed to be? <sighs> Come on, Jack. Look at me, I got a big second chance, just like Will. And what did I do? Nothing. Lost and alone. That cannot be my best life. All right. All right, if you want to move that thing into the yard here, just do it, because you're going to sneak up on me anyway. But you're wrong about one thing. You're not alone, Tim. Thank you, by the way. You're welcome. Sometimes in your life you have to swallow your pride. Take another chance. Take another ride. You'll never know what happens till you give it a try. So if your love is broken and leaves you on your own, time might heal the pain, but your heart will lead you home.